Last week, the Democratic Convention talked about change. But what do you think? Is Washington now liberal or conservative? Let me ask you some questions. Is a Supreme Court decision liberal or conservative that awards Guantanamo terrorists with constitutional rights? It's liberal. Is a government liberal or conservative that puts the interests of the teachers' union ahead of the needs of our children? It's liberal. Is a Congress liberal or conservative that stops nuclear power plants and offshore drilling, making us more and more dependent on Middle Eastern tyrants? It's liberal. Is government spending, putting aside inflation, liberal or conservative if it doubles since 1980? It's liberal. We need change, all right. Change from a liberal Washington to a conservative Washington. We have a prescription for every American who wants change in Washington. Throw out the big government liberals and elect John McCain and Sarah Palin. It's the same prescription for a stronger economy. I spent 25 years in the private sector. I've done business in many foreign countries. I know why jobs come and why they go away. And I know that liberals don't have a clue. They, they, uh, they think that we have the biggest and strongest economy in the world because of our government. They're wrong. America is strong because of the ingenuity and entrepreneurship and hard work of the American people. The American people have always been the source of our nation's strength, and they always will be. We strengthen our people and our economy when we preserve and promote opportunity. Opportunity is what lets hope become reality. Opportunity expands when there's excellence and choice in education, when taxes are lowered, when every citizen has affordable portable health, portable health insurance, and when constitutional freedoms are preserved. Opportunity rises when children are raised in homes and schools that are free from pornography and promiscuity and drugs, where there are homes that are blessed with family values in the presence of a mom and a dad. America, America cannot long lead the family of nations if we fail the family here at home.